Welcome to Jurassic Park. I've leased it from the government and I spent the last five years setting up a kind of biological preserve. Really spectacular, spared no expense. Make the one I've got down in Kenya look like a petting zoo. <laughs> and there's no doubt our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. And not just kids, everyone. We're going to open next year. Having Ned to do was a mistake. Shutting down the entire system was the only way to wipe out everything that he did. Isla Nubla was just a showroom, something for the tourists. Site B was the factory floor. That was on Ina Sauna, 80 miles from Nubla. We bred the animals there and nurtured them for a few months and then moved them into the park. After the accident in the park, Hurricane Carissa wiped out our facility on Site B. Call it a, an act of God. But we had to evacuate, of course, and the animals were released to mature on their own. And by now we have a complete ecological system on the island with dozens of species living in their own social groups without fences, without boundaries, without constraining technology. And for four years, I've tried to keep it safe from human interference. <laughs> 